so welcome back to this channel once again and in this video session i will discuss checking object existence in cn so let's actually move on to the program which i created for that so basically we are going to use check obj command for this purpose so let's see what this command can do for us so we can check any object existence using this command in a li particular library so basically uh, those objects are of uh, multiple types let's take f1 here take f4 so you can see these are the object types which could be checked whose existence could be checked using this command um, so here in object and library we need to provide the object name and the library name so this is known as the fully qualified name okay and so as you can see i'm checking for a file existence so the, so the file type object type would be star file in that case so in case of a star file we have a, an extra option for the member so if a file is a multi-member file having more than one member in it's in itself and uh, we want to check any particular member of that file whether it is there with that file or not so it exists or not we can check so we, we can provide the member name here we can also check for the authority for that object so here are these uh, the authority so we can check the authority for that object also okay there is nothing more than that so basically we could check the object existence in any particular library of any type uh, with respect to the file we can also check the members of the file okay and we would be basically when this command gets executed we would be or this procedure would be receiving some message ids and based upon those message ids further actions would be taken uh, into in this program so for example if cpf9801 message id is received by this procedure we will be basically uh, giving a message saying that object not found okay in case of cpf9810 it is library not found so easy class g is not an, a library which exists uh, here C clpf10 not exist in library this okay so these are the things library not found uh, further to this further adding to this mon message ids cpf9815 in case of member not found and cpf9803 in case uh, uh, object you cannot uh, allocate the object they have more than there are more uh, message ids you can check on uh, google or somewhere else that uh, for your particular cases you can add those message ids and you can do whatever you want to do in the execute section okay so here i executed only one command by sending the message to the program message queue but you can use multiple uh, commands in the execute section okay or you can simply write one message this then do this else do this right like this okay so that's all in this program just compile this program and let's see what message ids we are getting so the first ma first message we are getting is the object not found and the second one we are getting is library not found so that's correct what we want to check so that's all in this video yes uh, uh, we can check uh, any object existence using check obj command in cl program so thank you and have a nice time